wait, 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 wait. What do we have here? Are these protest arcs? You need to improve the perceived conditions at your zoo to keep protesters away. Wait, oh no, how do we satisfy their demands so they're stop causing trouble? We need to get our animal enrichment to at least 75%. Oh my gosh, I thought that, I thought that our animals were happy. Like, it doesn't say that anybody, oh wait, there's enrichment issues. <gasps> There's a lot of enrichment issues. Oh my word, you guys. I am so ashamed that we happen to have protesters, protesters here at our very own zoo. I just, I don't even know what to think about that, friends. Other than we need to go ahead and definitely try to make this right. So, all right, everyone. Hello and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo, where apparently I'm running into a few animal issues, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to solve that problem soon. I think one of the problems is we have so many big so many piglets right now and not enough toys um so we're gonna need to solve the piku issue and it looks like our snakes are getting bored again and we have a overabundance of them once more because we have so many snakes so let's actually release into oh my good word we have a lot of them we're gonna release a whole bunch of them into the wild uh yeah we'll go with charmer Ooh, I like Goldie being actual gold. Toffee. Oh, Brandy is 155 years old. Wow. Uh, let's see. We also have Curly. I like Curly. Ooh, we have a black snake named Dixie. That's really fun. All right, let's see. Oh, and a new task. Better employees. When I was young, people actually had to get good at their jobs. I think your staff is shocking. Here's an idea. If you can keep a janitor employed long enough to reach level 25, I'll be pretty happy. All right. Oh, hey, Brandy, take that. I did have a level 25 janitor in your face. All right, let's go ahead and we'll adopt out Gizmo the snake and Arnie, the 109-year-old snake. What? I want to keep a 109-year-old snake. We'll release a bunch of those snakes to the wild, which will hopefully help out their endangered species. Uh, species endangered, 0.05%. Species extinct, 0.31%. Wait, so you can actually have certain, you can actually have certain species go extinct in the wild. Oh my gosh, you guys. We've got to help. We have got to help. I really want to work on that. All right, and now just our bunnies are bored, but I was actually thinking about coming in and moving all of our bunnies in this pen and then putting them into this pen and then going ahead and we're going to just get rid of this whole enclosure. And then we're gonna edit this enclosure so that it actually is bigger. Cause these bun buns are way overdue for an expansion. So we're gonna make a bigger bun bun enclosure like so. And actually I'm gonna put in a subway down here somewhere so that the, the zookeepers can get back and forth across the zoo faster. So we'll do this. And we still need, we still have a lot of bunnies. I love the gigantic size of some of these bunnies though. I love the blob buns and I love the flop buns. And we have a new bunny by the way. This amazing bunny tiger is actually one of the rabbits we need to discover these missing species. So let's pop into the breeding center real fast. Because we are so close to discovering the full extent of the actual bunny species. So close. There we go. All right, let's confirm that. And we're gonna actually get production target infinite until hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get that like missing bunny species. And then I do wanna go ahead and return our hyena to their spot. And I really, really, really wanna get new horses. Like I'm very eager for some new horses. We haven't, I, I, I think our horse is actually currently pregnant though. Our horse is pregnant! Yay! We just need to be patient. Oh, look, and we have a new type of duck! Yes, good job, ducks! I'm so proud of you guys. All right, so that takes care of everybody needing enrichment except for the pigs. So the pigs still need better enrichment, and I think that's because we have too many pigs. <laughs> so maybe we can work on getting a new type of pig. Is that possible? There is indeed the ability to go ahead and try to find a new type of pig. So we'll go ahead. Oh, one of them is currently pregnant at the moment. Uh, there's also this new type of pig. Can we do that one? Also currently pregnant. We have a lot of pregnant pigs. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> um, but we can actually trade out two pigs 
for our porcupines, which we were talking about doing for a prickly situation indeed. And if we want to get the porcupines, they actually go into what looks to be a desert habitat of all things. This porcupine is doing fine, or at least he will be if you can look after him and his mate for us. Huh. Which is not the kind of exhibit- oh, what's this? Oh, people are caffeinated and just they got the zoomies going in little circles here. Cute. Like, I would not have put porcupines in a desert habitat because porcupines really love trees. They climb trees. That's kind of their thing. Uh, but let's not question it too much. And we'll go ahead and put in a porcupine exhibit. How about right here? I think this should probably be big enough. Hopefully. And I'll probably want to put another subway station like up top. So we'll... We'll do this. Look at everybody have the zoomies. Oh my goodness. And then let's make sure that water will be able to be covered before I go and get ourselves a porcupine exhibit installed. Hmm, the water map. Okay, water actually could be covered right now without too much trouble. I should get more shelters for people to be able to stand under. Oh, there's a jungle restroom. That's so cool. Wow, I really love the look of it. I really actually do. I wonder if I should just like hide the jungle restroom sort of back here somewhere. Huh, we'll think about that. The cafe is starting to see more sales too. All right, so if we're gonna get a porcupine in here, let's go ahead, we'll give them a nice water basin and let's go snag some porcupines. Let's do it. All right, trade. And we'll go with Claire, the male. Fingers crossed, I won't regress that. <gasps> and we got a bonus porcupine! I forgot how we have the bonuses going on right now. Thanks for the trade, but watch out for their quills. Sorry, I don't usually make a point of giving safety warnings about the animals. Totally fine. All right, then we have three animals arriving in a day and it, they should be just fine. We'll put down a big old leaf pile for the porcupines to enjoy because I think that would be delightful across the record. We'll leave down some balls for them to play with. Um, let's see, and we'll also want to go ahead, add objects, shelter. And I guess we could get like a mossy shelter. Cause again, porcupines like trees, but I guess if we're gonna go with this theme, shrug, I suppose, uh, I'll put down some trees. I kind of want to unlock the scratching post for these porcupines because I think that they would appreciate having the scratching post to play with. We'll do a scent marker over here. There we go. And then, oh, my money! Oh, it's a good thing we're making so much money, but like we're doing really good and we have no more loans to pay off. I am so proud of us. Oh, and we got an energy neutral rebate scheme. Oh, I didn't even know what. Government electricity rebates. The zoo has managed to generate more environmentally clean electricity than it needs. Yes, I have no idea how we did that. As a result, the government has decided to incentivize this healthy practice. Copying a local policy that has been in place in countries like the UK for many years, not only can the zoo sell their electricity back to the grid, the government will also pay them a rebate of $1,000 at the end of every week that the zoo manages to create excess electricity. <gasps> That'd be really cool. We'll have to see if we can manage to pull that off somehow. Uh, we could put in cliffs for them to climb, but I don't think that the porcupines really need cliffs to climb. I will, however, give them some wooden logs to climb, since apparently our poor porcupines are not going to have... And we'll give them wooden logs over here, too, because apparently they're not going to have uh, trees to climb. There we go. And in fact, oh, there's a new variant of monkey we can get! All right, we'll have to go ahead and check that out in a little bit. But right now, in seven hours, we have incoming porcupines. And I have a feeling we're really want gonna wanna like get to know these porcupines so that we can have a lot of fun. Let's get another big tree. Nice, nice. If we put a couple big trees over here, I feel like that will make their exhibit a little bit more akin to what I think a porcupine exhibit should be. We'll get one more big tree. There we go. That's a little bit better for like what I actually think porcupines need. Do we want to put down some grass, some long grass in here? Do I want any flowers for them? A bush? I feel like some bushes will do. 
If I have some bushes and I can kind of see like that the porcupines are going to be able to access some things. All right, that makes me kind of happy. I feel a little bit better about our poor porcupines. And we have no enrichment for these pigs still because we still have so many pigs. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this little pig. This one's really cute. I really love it. It's just like a complete random mix of a boar. All right, so I think we need to go ahead and we'll release some more pigs into the wild because I think we have all of the like lower level pigs we need. Oh, the hyena populations are going down. They're decreasing and you're threatened, heck. All right, oh geez. All right, well, let's go ahead and we're actually gonna release a few of these pigs because there's a lot of them. Uh, let's see, maybe some of the little ones too. There's a lot of these guys. All right, let's see. We'll release you and then how about Sam? And how about this peak? And maybe that will make things a little bit better. All right, now we no longer have enrichment issues with that. Phew, okay, well we still have the prickly porcupines incoming. I think that's what today is kind of gonna be themed around. So, let's go ahead, get some greenery. I'm gonna install a, another subway up here in just a minute. All right, oh dang it, didn't mean to erase that. There we go. Better greenery, better greenery. Good, good, good. Oh, I can't believe we're actually getting like the corners filled in now, guys. I'm so happy. It's finally looking a little less terrible. All right, we'll put this here. And then we want people to come and hang out with the porcupines. And then, whoops. And walk past the graveyard. Hopefully not get too depressed by the graveyard. They will carry on in their adventures through the rest of our facilities, our fine facilities. Thank you very much. And then let's come down here because I want everybody to zip off the subway pretty quickly. Nice, nice. Gotta make sure. There we go. All right, let's get this grass put under the pigs here. Grass put under the geese over here. I wonder if we could attract people. <gasps> let's try attracting people down to our geese. Like, hey, everybody wants some chocolate. We're gonna put some sneaky chocolate and cola down here. So if you wanna come and you want to come visit with the geese, maybe you'll get some cola as well. Can I move this bush? Maybe a couple bushes over here? Maybe I should put, uh, here, we'll put a bush there. And then I'm going to sneak a trash can or a recycling bin. Is that under amenities? Yeah, we'll do recycling bin. If there isn't a bin nearby when people are holding trash, then the floor will have to do. I don't think so. We're gonna have recycling. Oh, I like that. Just sort of tucked to the side. Yes. Oh, inbound porcupines. This is not a drill. Inbound porcupines. Let's celebrate. I think with another little bear exhibit, another bear subway system. So you can come and see the porcupines in the forest. Oh, we got a new monkey variant. Yes. Oh my gosh, literally I put that subway down and people are already here. And yay, we have three new porcupines. Here they are, girl the boy porcupine. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, well let's make sure that they're going to have the correct types of food. So we're gonna drop the straw down. We're gonna up the bark, because they do indeed eat a lot of bark. Uh, but it looks like the berries, ooh. Yeah, the berries are gonna make up the bulk of their nutrition. It looks like 30% berries. And there we go, 10%. Need, need more food, no more food. Okay, I have to buy a bunch of more food. We're gonna get there. All right, hang on. Okay, there we go. Porcupines are now taken care of. Oh my gosh, that was $4,000 of porcupine food, but we did it, friends. I don't need to quick order any other food. It was just those porcupines in particular who seemed to be alarmed. Yay, all right. I really like this. I think we're gonna actually come in and we're gonna replace all of this pathing, uh, the, the stone, or the, pardon me. We're gonna replace all of the wood pathing I just put down. Ah, really? Can I just go with my edged grass again? The yellow grass is really cool. Oh, let's do pale grass, yes. Forget this nonsense. I want to do pale grass everywhere. Oh my gosh. All right, hang on one second, friends. All right, gotta put this down so we can erase those things. And then, okay, actually I will leave cobblestone here because that seems fair. 
And then we're gonna come in and look at the pale grass. It's so pretty. I have no complaints about that. That's actually really lovely. And it makes it sort of fun because it adds more greenery around the porcupines exhibits. And can you imagine what's gonna happen when we actually end up with the porcupines? We're gonna be able to use their genes in order to go ahead and make some really cool crossbreeds. Porcupines, I'm so proud of you, thank you. Hopefully they breed quickly. In fact, I guess we could guarantee that by going ahead and stuffing a couple into the breeders. Uh, all right, let's see. That sounded a lot more alarming than I meant. <laughs> oh, all right, how are the horses doing? We have one breeding pair. Let's put the porcupines in here. It's already pregnant! <laughs> we already have a pregnant porcupine! What? What about the horse? Is the horse still pregnant? The horse is not currently pregnant. Oh, wait, yeah, it is! Oh, my word. Um... I guess the monkeys? We could work on getting a new variant of monkey? No, this one's also pregnant. Everybody's expecting babies, you guys. What about a new variant of hyena? A oh, few. Okay, we finally managed to get a new variant of hyena worked on. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Well, I really put my head down and focused on getting the porcupine in this time. Uh, do people walk? Yeah, people walk slowly. Uh, I think they walk pretty quickly on the grass path. Let's get some benches. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should just have a place where people can like sit and... Oh, the fancy benches, the log benches. Where are you? There you are. Themed benches. We snagged it. And then there's more themed subways we can actually go ahead and unlock, which reduce the cost of buying new subways. Oh, the car tire for animals to have an enrichment item or the salt block. Let's get the salt block. <gasps> A chicken coop? Get eggs from your chickens in happy organic ways. Happy chickens make happy eggs. Oh my gosh. All right. There's a lot we need to do for the farm. Um, there's a lot, a lot we need to do for the farm, actually. Let me unlock the scratching post as well. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And then let's come back in and I want to see our really cute... Where are our benches? Yes, the log benches! They're adorable, you guys! All right, I am absolutely making it so that people can come and sit and they can kind of have a little bit of a moment to catch their breath, hang out over by this adorable little bench area. Um, and potentially, can I have a gift shop in here? Not really. What about a balloon shop, ice cream stand, slushy shop? Snack shop? All right, we're gonna put in like a little snack spot. And then also we're still working on the cola vendor thing. So we're gonna sneak a couple cola things in there and then let's put in a couple trees and then I'll be happy with this. All right, tall tree, kind of, in fact, if we get a big tree, I might be able to like cover up my shame of having a cola thing there. <laughs> nice. And I feel like we can even have like a summer pine over here and maybe a dark pine because you know porcupines like to climb pine trees and we've got a nice little spot all decorated boom look at that decoration up park reading hopefully going up too all right there we go guys i'm pretty happy with how this is turning out we're really starting to fix a whole bunch of the little like corners where we want people to come and we're starting to get some decorations down consistently. We're making better areas for the animals. We're getting all sorts of amazing new animals who are coming to join us. And I'm figuring out places where we can sneak in really important things like the ATM. So to hopefully people can come. We'll put an ATM there. And I am gonna add, should I add another snack, snack vendor? Right here, it's not the cutest thing in the world, but it might be a good idea. <laughs> hey, you guys want some chocolate? Like, come over here. I got your chocolate. You need to come down here, though. All right, maybe a decoration. Ooh, a little clock. That's actually cool. I like the owl clock. I like it a lot. Or oh, I should have put a hedge fence over there. Oh. oh, if I move the subway back, can I move it back one? Not yet. Ah, oh, dang it. All right, we're really getting there. I'm really happy with this. We've now got some porcupines. They're already expecting babies, which is fantastic. We've got more research going on and equality hires. Six different types of zookeepers. 
I was already on it. Boom. And no, I am not giving you my dead animals or like my live animals to turn into robots, sir. Rude. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me on this increasingly chaotic but very fun adventure. And if you would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye